Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about the Shelf Space Book Club Picks and Hosts for the months of April, May, June, and July. And I have an additional announcement for Shelf Space in general. If you didn't already know, I do run a sci-fi fantasy book club here on YouTube called Shelf Space, where every month I invite a different fantasy or sci-fi booktuber to join us for a live show at the end of the month to talk about the book that we've selected for that month. If you want to see some of our past book picks and past guest hosts from previous months to get a better idea of what we read, I will link all of that information in the description box down below for you to check out in case you're interested in joining. So as a reminder for the month of March, I will be joined by Erin over at Booked and Busy who actually runs her own fantasy book club called Busy Bee Book Club and I will link information for that down below. And we decided during the month of March that we would kind of combine our two book clubs and we will all read Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. I've heard that this is a really different fun fantasy book that takes the chosen one trope, which I love, and really turns it on its head. And I'm very intrigued by that and how it goes about doing that. It's pretty short, which is really nice for fantasy because usually they are huge. So it will be very fun to talk about this book with Erin in our live show and whoever else wants to join for the month of March. And now let's get into the new announcements for the month of April. So in the month of April, we will be reading The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Eilington. I have heard this compared to Wheel of Time, which is very intriguing because if you didn't know, Wheel of Time seems to be one of the most popular adult fantasy series in the market, out there, available right now. And I'm actually not a huge Wheel of Time fan myself. The writing style, I just didn't totally vibe with, but I have heard that this is more of a modern take and kind of has a lot of the tropes that Wheel of Time does, but does them in a different way. So I'm very intrigued by this series. I've heard a lot, a lot of positive reviews for it. It says, it has been 20 years since the godlike augurs were overthrown and killed. Those who once served them, the gifted, were spared only after accepting the rebellion's four tenants, which vastly limited their powers. Davian suffers the consequences of a war lost before he was even born. When he discovers that he wields the forbidden power of the augurs, he sets into motion a chain of events that will change everything. To the west, a young man whose fate is intertwined with Davian's wakes up in a forest covered in blood and with no memory of who he is. And in the far north, an ancient enemy begins to stir. So this just sounds like very classic fantasy adventure that I'm really going to enjoy. So if you're interested in joining us, we will be joined in the month of April by Jade over at Bedtime Bookworm. If you don't know Jade, she's fantastic. She's one of my good friends here in the community. She's a part of the World Hoppers collaborative YouTube channel that we run together with Elle and Jashana. I'm going to link Jade's channel down below if you want to check her out. I just I love Jade. She's so fantastic. So she's going to be joining me for the month of April to read this book. So definitely join us if you would like to. Now for kind of a, a bigger announcement for the book club moving forward after April. So if you didn't already know, I have announced this in a couple of other videos. But if you haven't seen those, I am pregnant, very, very excited, and I'm actually due at the end of May. So with that, there's going to be a lot of changes I anticipate in my life. I'm probably not going to have quite as much time for reading as I used to. So that being said, I will no longer be running shelf space after the month of April. But my really good friend here in the community who has pretty much been a part of shelf space basically since the start of it. His name's Alan. You've probably heard of him if you watch my channel at all because he's a really good friend of mine. His channel is Library of Alexandria. He has so graciously accepted my offer of handing over the book club to him to run, and he's decided to pretty much keep it the same format. So starting in the month of May, Alan will now be your host for the Shelf Space Book Club, and he will continue to kind of still do the same format of choosing a different booktuber each month as a guest host and choosing a book for that month with that guest host. 
host. So for the month of May, I'm already really excited about the guest host that he's chosen and the book picks. I'm, I'm so excited. For the month of May, we will be reading The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn, which is one of my most anticipated books of the entire year. And the guest host is going to be Abby over at Abby Salter. Her channel will be linked down below, of course, as well as Alan's, of course. The Shadow of the Gods is the newest book that John Gwynn is releasing. It actually comes out in the month of May. I forget exactly which day. I'll put it here once I find it. And it's no longer in the Banished Lands, which is what where all of his previous books took place. I've been reading his Faithful and the Fallen series and have been loving it so, so much. I love his writing style. I love his characters. So I have been so excited to read this book ever since it was announced. I'm so glad it's the pick for the month of May. And I think Alan and Abby are going to have so much fun during the live show. I can't wait to join them for that if I can. <laughs> Hopefully I can. For the month of June, Alan has announced that they will be reading Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which, if you didn't know, is one of my all-time favorite sci-fi books. I love this book so much. It absolutely blew my mind when I first read it. I highly recommend everybody try this, especially if you're new to sci-fi and don't really know where to start with the genre. I think that this is much more of a sci-fi thriller that's very light on the science. It's it's still like a mind-blowing experience, but it's not going to go like totally over your head. It's very easy to follow, very, very fun and fast-paced. And he will be joined by Leslie over at The Nerdy Narrative for the month of July, who is fantastic. I love Leslie's channel. She reads a ton of fantasy, sci-fi, and horror. So if you want to check out her channel, she's also going to be linked down below. So that is for the month of June. And then finally, for the month of July, the book that Alan selected is going to be The, the Wolf by Leo Carew, I think is how you pronounce it. This one I don't know too, too much about, but the guest host, Liana's Library, who I love, she's also another great friend here in the community. Uh, Liana, this is one of her favorite books of all time. I believe she's read this about three times already and is going to read it again in the month of July for the book club, I, which I love. I'm so excited to check this one out. This is definitely more of an underrated book that I don't see a whole lot of people talk about. So I'm really excited to pick it up. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is for the month of July. It will be The Wolf with Liana over at Liana's library. So those are the announcements that I wanted to make for the book club. Thank you so much to everyone who has joined already in one of the past months or continues to join in these coming months. And thank you so much to Alan for graciously accepting the offer of taking on the book club after the month of April. Just with all of the changes coming, it's going to make my life a little bit easier. So thank you, Alan, so, so much. I'm so glad that the book club is continuing on and I will be an active participant. You just won't see me as often in the live shows anymore and that's okay because I know that Alan's going to do amazing things with the book club and he's fantastic. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!